Almost every business in the European Union depends on immaterial values. They depend on patents, they depend on design, copyright, protecting the brand of the company. But then there are some ventures which are very strongly dependent on protecting immaterial values. Businesses where if you don't protect their, the design you make, the music you make, the computer game you make, or you know, innovative industries, the business easily doesn't function. To uh, look European economy and how cultural and creative industries can play and are playing at the moment, as it defined, I think that it has huge impact. It's uh, really, I think, one of the strategic industries that we are having in Europe. It has been, I think, that uh, altogether 11% of uh, the all private companies in Europe, and I think that's many. And if we think in terms of uh, creating jobs, at the moment uh, the kind of uh, creative and cultural industries are providing 12 million uh, people work, and that's four times more than automotive sector. And it's the, even uh, comparing the kind of chemical sector, it's nine times more than chemicals. We can say that creativity in broad sense is one of the key European assets. We can say that I think that if we take it much wider than cultural and creative industries as defined, but even wider where we are thinking of the global marketplace, I think we are having high value added quality complex products and services. I think that we are, even throughout the kind of uh, economic crisis, we have kept our 40% of the global market share. What digital has done has ma is made creativity much, much easier. It is far easier to write a book now than it's ever been because the mistakes can be uh, erased at the stroke of the click of a key. Uh, you can have as many drafts as you like. You can print as many copies as you like. You, you don't have to have the embarrassment of sending a carbon copy to a publisher, that was a terrible thing to do because it meant he hadn't, he or she hadn't been first on the list. So it's wonderful for creativity, but what it's done also is it's made protection of what you've created and the marketing of what you've created much, much more complicated, much harder. Um, so digitalization, as I said, just it means creativity is much easier protection of that and the marketing of it and the exploitation of it is much more difficult to control. What we have seen in the recent period is luckily um, that the legit legitimate downloads are picking up. We as an industry together with our partners we have been able uh, to have these startups, not the Netflix of this world, but a great initiative from Sweden, Spotify for example. We have some other examples, but uh, a lot of local examples of digital distribution and um, uh, digital uh, streaming platforms. We are optimistic about streamers and the recorded size of an artist business, which, which isn't all of an artist business. Many of you will know that artists also earn from the live side of their business or merchandising or branding. It has suffered dramatically and piracy is and has been a problem. What's interesting is technology has helped provide some solutions to that problem. So in the days of, uh, of the worst of piracy, people were downloading and, and ripping um, uh, music to save onto their devices. Now most of us carry a mobile phone, it's limited in terms of how much content it can hold on it, so actually streaming is something that, that people are signing up to and they are paying for. So I think there are now 90 million paying subscribers. Uh, I know in Scandinavia the market is, is something like 95% streaming, people consuming music legally.
if you want to give an answer to the skepticism towards the European project, or if you just want to answer what's the core of the European project, one of the answers might be that culture is a core of the European project. The creative industry is much more than an economic driver. It is what uh, makes Europe resonate globally, and as and, uh, Mr. Heller, you were referring to the State of the Union speech, and Juncker said there that artists and creators, they are our crown jewels. They bear our identity and they are part of our culture.